next here we have sales sale volume now here it should be years so y e a r but we don't see the year numbers over here rather we see this one two three four five again so let's go to select data we have this edit select the years okay now is it reflecting for sale volume no let's do that edit again and select these years click ok and ok again and now this table looks perfect well i can get rid of the chart title for now so that i can get more space and now it makes a lot of sense now do you need data labels over here if i click on this it's quite congested it's really difficult to read so i would prefer not to have this and instead i can just move my mouse across different points and i still get this well in case if i want to make some changes over here i can come here click on format i can change the way how this line will be for example i do not want this in orange but i want this in green so i take this green and here we have a good line over here in green now if i want to change the color for these bars first when i click on the bar any one bar all the bars are selected now if i click on any of the bar again it's only that one bar which is selected so let's say i want to select the last bar and i want to have this in this color format indicating that this is the most recent data that i have and these are all the historical data wow now that looks quite decent and professional here maybe green line would be quite bright so i might make it as something like a dark blue and still make it look amazing now that's looking professional here so now let us work on this set of data and let me show you another way another way how we can have or we can make the best use of these combo charts first we have this data over here now this time we have the same sales figures but now they are with the expenses and we have some profits over here and the formula pretty straightforward here that sales minus expenses now based on this i would like to have a graph a combination graph and that should be based on sales and profits i don't want to bother with the expenses as of now so a i can select the set of data hold down the control key after i select sales i'll hold down the control key and i have the profits here click on insert and let's say first we'll have a bar graph and see how it shows up well that's now quite interesting here we see the sales and the profits and this is below zero indicating negative profits here and gradually it climbs up it would really be awesome if i can have a profit margin visible over here for that let us have the profit margin so we say profit margin let us expand this column and what is profit margin the profit divided by sales we don't need to multiply it with 100 okay excel is smart enough to understand what it is if you don't find your number in a percentage format after doing the division you can just get click on the cell and click on this percentage over here and you can add or reduce the decimals accordingly now i have the formula over here and i'll cascade it all the way to the right and we have a good profit margin here now let's bring this profit margin onto this graph so i click on this graph chart design select data now we have the sales we have profits let me add and here the series name i can manually type it or i can just click on the cell which has the heading that's the series name now series values i need to first clear this off and select the values click ok now if you notice one thing here at the bottom we are still with the labels as one two three four five six seven incorrect those should be the years we did not select it earlier and hence we see these so you can click on any of these first click on edit for horizontal axis select the years click ok and let's see here it cascades for the rest as well good 
Now, if we click on OK, well, we don't see our profit margins here. That's because we have these margins in the form of percentage, and those are very small amount. So technically, this axis over here, neither of these two axes can help us get the percentage visible or this line visible. So here again, we will make use of the combo chart. I click on combo. Here we have this two axis. And here we go. Profit margin. That's the line here. Line chart. And with the secondary axis. Let's click on this. And here we have this. Well, in case if I find the decimals quite congesting over here, congested over here. So then I might just click on right click on this and click on format axis. Now let us click here. Okay. Here we can also try to reduce this by bounds. So we'll scroll down and we have number format here. The number decimal places. I either I can give zero or one. That's absolutely fine. For now I'll give zero. Okay. And here it is. So I can get rid of the chart title. Good. And now this chart looks amazing here. But one more thing here, we have this year somewhere stuck in the middle of this visual representation of this entire graph. I would like to see these years coming down over here. You see, there are some negative values and these years are actually stuck to the zeroth line. So let's go again. I right click format chart area. So here we click on horizontal category axis and here we click on this axis option. We have labels and label position next to axis high, low. If I select high, you will see the numbers at the top. If I select low, we have it at the bottom of the chart. And now I click aside and here we have this chart. So you can see both the axis that have negative values. Okay. So now we are using the first axis over here, which is for the profits as well as for the sales. So the orange bars are representing the profits. And what about the profit margin? Well, during this phase, whenever you see the orange bars below the zero, line zero, that means the profit margin is negative. And that's what we can see all the way till here but the moment it touches it but so in 2014 onwards you can see that the profit margin is positive right and this is where the zero line is for the profit margin well this is one great use of combo chart let me take it one notch up over here and we'll create one more chart which might look complex but still interesting so I can select this entire set of data over here and add, click on insert combo chart. Well, I can do this. First, I can get rid of unwanted columns. So we have 2011, 12, 13, 14, 15, everything reflecting over here properly. We have the blue bar representing sales, orange for expenses, profit and profit margin. Well, I don't want to see the sales this time. I want to do an expense to profit analysis here. So I click on the sales, any of the sales bar and press delete on the keyboard. And here we have expenses, profit and profit margin. Now I don't want to see this in this format. Rather, I'll just change the chart type. And for expenses, I'll make it look like a stacked column chart. And what would it be stacked against? It will be stacked against the profits. And here we have this. The profit margin will be represented with by the secondary axis. Click OK. And here we have this. Let me remove the chart title and see. Now here, you need to understand okay here you will notice that the orange bar is all about expenses and gray bar is about profits so for the first two or in fact the first three years if you zoom in 
we can see that for the first three years it's negative profits that means we do not have enough money okay that means we are spending more than what we are earning and hence these profits are negative here but the moment we start from the fourth year we are in profits and in fact the total of this these two bars that's the orange and the gray bar together makes up to the total sale value so in a way we get an idea of what the sales are approximately for example for 2020 the sales is somewhere between 500 and 600 of which 400 and maybe 10 or 20 approximately is for expenses and the rest goes towards the profits and i also have another line over here which is indicating the profit margin so my profit margins have been the highest in this year that's 2020 and in 2019 i was somewhere close enough and same way with 2018 but my profit margins were negative and also the profits were negative during the initial three years well now this also looks professional and quite good right nice way to have an amazing impact on your audience well that's it about the combo charts over here and well the options are immense. You can do whatever you want to. You can try different ones. You have the area chart. If I click on this chart design chain chart type, we have different versions over here. You can have an area chart as well. Pie chart may not make sense here. Okay, for example, let's say area chart. You see this, these are all the expenses, but we need to understand that not every area chart will help everywhere it's very rare that we see area charts and those are very specific to certain scenarios an ideal would be a common clustered column or a stacked column chart which just worked out for us